and there are two barriers which are required to break down. You can destroy all the barriers, then die, then grind energy to refill the crash bomber. You can do that if you want, but that's just painful. I am super happy that I did it, because I did not do that in the practice run, and it wasn't fun. It's even more hard on difficult mode. <laughs> but anyway, now we come to Wily Stage 5, which is the boss rush. Let's do it. So first we come to Heat Man. Bubble Ed is the way to go. Yeah, now we come to Airman. Leaf Shield. And unlike Mega Man 1, they drop health, and you can take them on any order you want. Much better choice, if you ask me. Uh, Woodman, just use your atomic fire on him. And darn it. I'm not gonna take a chance. But yeah. Next we have Bubble Man. So let's get the metal blade out. Ah, oh, darn, I didn't get a chance to get the health. Oh well. Quick man. Time stopper. Na 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 na, you can't touch me. Your health is draining. And I'm really bad at petty playground taunts. Next boss, Crash Man. So get your air shooter ready and get him. And he crashed, man. Can you hold still or die just like you did when I killed you during the level or whatever? Whatever. Okay, whatever. Whatever used to be my favorite word as a kid. And hey, Metal Man. This is an embarrassment. Look at this. Look at this. One shot of his own weapon kills him. How embarrassing is that? <laughs> yeah. Flashman. Um, I'll just show that he's actually quite weak to the Mega Buster. Yeah, let's just use Metal Blade. But you're still gonna want Metal Blade for the boss. Metal Blade, Atomic Fire, and Crash Bomb are all good weapons to have. I actually didn't know that Atomic Fire was pretty good for him for a while. Anyway, this is Wily Machine number two. Let's try the Atomic Fire. So I can charge it only twice. It's not very effective, and I need an E-Tank. Let's just Metal Blade. And now, uh, yeah. There we go. And he escaped. Well, guess we're not done with the game yet. Let's keep going. There is an eerie calmness about this level, which is very, very creepy. Shh, don't want to wake anything up. This acid takes a lot of health out, so do not touch it. Like a third of your health. It's really not cool. Do not touch it. It really can hurt you on difficult mode also. So yeah, don't touch the acid. And this is really hurting my voice, so I'm gonna talk normal now. <coughs> yeah, don't touch the acid, it's not that good for you. I mean, I wouldn't touch acid myself, but still. And now, time for the final boss. Alright, Wily, let's... He can fly? Wait a minute, what? 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 
Okay, I guess all the long Wily was an alien. That's random. Well, let's prevent an alien invasion with his weakness, the bubble lead. I want to say this right now. Bubble lead is the only weapon in the that will actually hurt him. I'm pretty. I heard every any other weapon you try using against him will heal him. I have never tested that out myself. And I love the background too. <laughs> but anyway, he's not that bad. On difficult mode, he can be really annoying though. But anyway, defeated! Yay! And I wanted to face the other way. And what? Okay, it was a hologram the entire time. Good. I didn't want to prevent an alien invasion. <laughs> and I guess with that, Wily's been defeated. Wow, I only died once in this fortress. And with that, Wily has been defeated again. Hopefully this time he'll actually change his ways or something and not go anyway. And now we come to this weird ending sequence. Mega Man is walking away, and I don't know what the point of this is. There's no, there's no, this isn't the credits yet, but I like this sequence. Kind of nice. But yeah, there we go. We beat Mega Man too. The Wily stages aren't that bad, except for the boss of Wily Stage Four. Really, if that boss was not in the game, I would love this game that much more. But still, if you practice him, he's not that bad. But, uh, yeah. That's Mega Man 2 for the NES. What else can I say about it? It is a fantastic game. I'd give it a 10 out of 10. It's just that good. There's hardly any problems with it, and it's such a good game. If you're any fan of platformers and you want to get into the Mega Man series, you play Mega Man 2. It's that good. I don't know why he took his helmet off, but there we go. And then we get this happy credit scene with the title stage music. Love it. I really should stop this now, because oop, <laughs> my computer uh, almost went to sleep there. That wouldn't have been fun, but anyway, yeah, Mega Man 2, fantastic game. Perfect Capcom's best work, best Mega Man game ever made. It's an excellent game. I'm going to stop my rambling and just leave it on that note. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. My next Mega Man Let's Play will be Mega Man 3, which I will be recording soon after this. Um, yeah, that is a very good game as well. Not as good as this, but I'm still looking forward to Mega Man 3. Not much else I can talk about. I mean, I just finished recording a Shadow the Hedgehog earlier today, and this should go up after I upload the finale of that. And, uh, you know. And I really applaud the developers for doing this, because I'll talk a little bit about Mega Man 2's development history. Uh, Mega Man 1 did not sell very well, and it was created so that Capcom could have, like, a mascot on the NES. And because it didn't sell well, the pe Capcom just wanted to abandon it, but the developers, including the game's crea the creator of Mega Man, KJ Inafune, they really, really wanted to make a sequel, so they were able to reason with Capcom, and they allowed them to make a sequel on their free time. So, yeah, they made this on their free time, which really is dedication. <laughs> really impressive, and it really shows. But anyway, next time, it's Mega Man 3 for the NES. I hope you all enjoyed watching this as much as I had fun playing this. I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.